Guys, well, this 4th of July weekend, it is time to fire up that grill. And the managing partner, Billy Banks from Longhorn, is with us this morning. Hey, Hello. Glad, glad to be here. Thank you so much for coming. So excited. Hey, me too. Thanks You're for joining happy. us. Awesome. Okay, so you're going to teach us how to season a steak, how to grill a steak, exactly. how to make a steak full of love and Fourth of July spirit. <laughs> there, you, there you go. Okay, that's there important. People it, are doing that all weekend long, it right? It is. Billy? It's awesome. It's awesome. Let's talk about some cuts of steak first that okay. we have at Longhorn Steakhouse. First off, we have a, a renegade sirloin. Okay, sirloin's a very lean cut of meat. Okay, it's um, very juicy. You sear it on the outside, it's really good. Mm. We all have our Flo's Filet, named after one of our original servers in Atlanta, Georgia. She loved it so much, Aww. they named it after, so Flo's Filet. <laughs> very uh, lean cut of meat, very tender, the most tender steak you can get, okay? Wow, uh, this is our signature outlaw ribeye, okay? Uh, notice the marbling, the white in the center of the steak. It actually cooks into the meat, okay? Melts into the meat, so the mm. steak is really tender, mm. really flavorful. Um, uh, one of our most flavorful steaks we serve. Okay. Over here, we have a steak that's unique to Houston, Texas. Uh, you can only get this at eight locations in Houston. The, the rest of Longhorn does not serve this. We know how Houstonians are about their steaks. Mm -hmm. This is a prime cut Delmonico. Prime beef being the like the top two percent of all beef you can get. Okay. okay. You can't buy a better steak than that. Right. Okay? So a lot of marbling, really tender, really flavorful, really good stuff. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay, so, so let's start seasoning. Who wants to season for me? You're going to try this? I will season, all yes. Right, awesome. All right. I'm you obviously wanna, you, an expert. Now we boldly season steaks at Longhorn, so okay. you don't want to be shy. So you want to, we want to do what we call a round trip. You want to go shy. from one side, <laughs> hit heavy, heavy, heavy. Come on. Look. Oh uh, yeah. There you go. Do there you, you go. Like, awesome. Do awesome. Dance too. There you go. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop. Hit it. And you know, All you right. want to rub it in there too. You can, you can pat it a little bit because on a, on a, your outdoor grill, you're going to have grates and a lot of that seasoning is going to fall through the grates. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that you have a, a really lot of seasoning because you're going to lose some of it when you okay. have it on your outdoor grill. Does it matter how long you season it for if you let it sit some, you know, yeah, in a, I mean, in a bag you know, for... as long as you're, you know, you've, you've let it, um, the steaks air out or what have you. And, okay. and, you know, you've got them on a plate, let's say you're outside. Now you can season them right away and put them straight on the grill, but okay. just make sure you boldly season those steaks because that's what we do at Longhorn. Now to prepare your grill, you're going to want to make sure that the grill is very hot when you're outside, 500, okay. 550 degrees, and you're going to oil it. A lot of folks don't oil their grill. You can use a spray right. bottle or you can use um, like a towel like we're using here. So okay. right. this okay. is not an outdoor grill, but we're going we're gonna to make it work. I can feel the heat yeah. from here, so it's obviously so, very hot. All right, and then we're going to place it up here. Okay. Now, what is Ooh. the best kind of seasoning for steak? Well, at Longhorn, we have our own signature seasonings, right. okay, which are a secret, okay? Oh, I but understand. But you can, you can uh, emulate our seasonings, for lack of a better word, if you uh, can use um, cracked black pepper, uh, kosher salt, uh, onion powder, uh, garlic powder, and mix those together. You okay. Can, you can get uh, close to our seasonings, okay? Close, but, close, not, but not quite as good. Not quite as good, okay? Okay. How's so, that steak, Sophie? So good. I'm going to so cut good. you a piece. Perfect. I love oh, you. Oh, she, she is <laughs> serious about it. Thank you. Okay. So if, Billy Banks, if people have questions over the holiday weekend, they need to know something in particular that maybe they don't, you know, maybe they just have a question about the seasoning or about how long to grill or the marbling. What should they do? Okay, well, we have our Longhorn uh, Grillless Hotline. It'll be open tomorrow Central Time from 10 until 4. Okay, I will actually be manning the hotline for a portion of that time in person. Oh, perfect. So hopefully some local Houstonians will call in and we'll get to answer some grilling questions yeah. and, you know, hopefully help them with their grilling. You know, don't let the grill intimidate you. Just yeah. get out, have fun, and, you know, do so it. So not only is there a number, you can also text. Mm -hmm. You can text the Grillless uh, Text grill to 55702, okay? Call or text. And you can, exactly. And what will happen is if you call the grillless hotline, they will, not an operator will answer. They'll, you'll give them their question and then they'll contact one of us, one of the grill masters, managing partners, and we'll answer Get your questions. Back. Perfect. Okay. Get back. So don't call 911. Don't no, freak out. Please don't. Call the grill master. That's mm -hmm. it. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much for You're joining welcome. us. Thank, we thank you, Billy. It. It smells it. amazing right. in yes. here. Awesome. All right. You can find all this information. Check out a replay of this interview online at click2houston.com. It'll be posted under the video tab on our homepage a little after the show.